Welcome to The World That Was and this filmed battle report 2,200 points of Warhammer Fantasy 8th edition between Warriors of Chaos and Vampire Counts. We're back in the old world and very excited to be filming our first battle report. This is a bit of a test run for us so that we can see how the space works and check equipment etc. Armies are probably 90% ready, so we've got a beautiful Vampire Counts army today who are facing a slightly less beautiful Warriors of Chaos. Uh, There's just a few models which we still need to finish off painting and, and get some bases done. But to be honest, we are too excited and just want to throw some dice. So don't judge us too harshly. This isn't going to be the final product, but it will hopefully give us an idea of how we're getting on. Any comments and criticisms are very welcome. Armies are both deployed for battle. We're playing pitch battle today. We have rolled for it, and thankfully it's that to keep it nice and simple as we've got enough to try and remember, as well as any overly complicated rules. So uh, we'll come back in a moment with deployment. Um, Jay can talk you through the Vampire Counts, how they've set up. Starting with the Vampire Counts deployment then. Jay, talk us through what we've got where. So on the right flank, we've got two hits of dire wolves. Moving across, terrorised, deployed sideways to maximise his move up the field. Uh, big unit of Gauls with Manfred, a tomb banshee, and Henrik Kemmler in there. And then a zombie bunker behind with a death romancer. Uh, another terrorgeist. And finishing it off, we've got six quick horrors, six hex faiths, and a spirit host on the end. Brilliant. And who's got what spells today? Uh, Henrik and Baby Manfred are both Lawmasters, and the Death Romancer has the Caress of the Leaf. Fantastic. And then over to the Warriors of Chaos deployment. So starting over on the left flank, we've got the unit of six Chaos Warhounds. Just the other side of the Wizarding Tower, we've got our unit of five Chaos Knights. Just in front of the Hell Cannon, and also flanked by our Juggernauts of Corn. Our hero is also in there up on the end who is slightly more closely finished than the others. <clears throat> he is our general for today. We've got the yard, large blob of Kaya's warriors. They've got the mark of Nurgle as per the army description. We've got our sorcerer lord in there and the battle standard bearer. Maybe on this flank. Gorby's chariot and the unit five. Kaya's warcraft. And Spells which the sorcerer has got today. We've got Masma of Pestilence, Plate of Putrification, Rancid Visitations, and Plague Wind. Rolling for the first turn, Warriors of Chaos finished by first, so we get the plus one. We've got a six, which is a seven, and a five for the Vampire Count. So Warriors of Chaos turn one coming up. So before we get into the Warriors of Chaos movement proper, Hex Wraiths have used their Vanguard move to move forwards and over on this flank both units of dire wolves have also surged forward so i don't think we're going to have any charges on this initial turn um maybe it's a bit far and hex race on chaos warhounds doesn't seem a very fair fight so we'll come back when the movement's done movement phase complete for Warriors of chaos having said that there were going to be no charges after i had done some measuring up i decided that the chaos warhounds were going to have a go they uh, rolled a 10 in total so they've made it into the dire wolves there corby's chariots just moved up Warriors of chaos have advanced forwards juggernauts and knights have both moved forwards and wheeled slightly out to face this threat hoping we can hopefully bait maybe with the uh, chaos warhounds there and most significantly the hell hand cannon, failed a siege test, and charge forwards, total 3d6 for 6 inches, which is uh, less than ideal. So we'll go straight on to the Winds of Magic, rolling a 5, and I've got 1 to try and channel, succeeds, that gives me 6 power dice, Jay have a go at your channeling. Nope. So six on four, magic phase coming up. Back the magic phase with rancid visitations from the sorcerer onto the ghouls in front. It is cast on a ten. That's a four. Not cast. End of magic phase. End of magic phase. Combat phase. Starting off with a leadership test for... Oh, they've passed it on a four, so I'm not afraid of you. I am on skill four. 
is not bad. Hitting on threes. Three hits. Strength, three toughness, three fours. It's four. Three even, sorry, can't count. But we are same initiative step, so you're hitting back with all five. Burn them everywhere. How many have we got? Two, just the two. Strength four, though. That's just one down. Not bad. So uh, I've got three, fourth charging, you've got one, I win by three. They are destroyed. Um, I'm going to run on with them, or they're setting themselves up for a horrendous charge, so we'll get that moved, and then we'll come back for Vampire Counts turn one. End of Vampire Counts movement phase, we had no charges, although Hex Race did come and run through the uh, Chaos Warhounds. I only managed to kill one though, which was disappointing for them. Terrorgeist has flown forward, landed here, ready to do some screaming, Spirit Host has ambled forward. Everything else has pretty much stayed still. We had a bit of a shuffling between the ghouls and the zombies. So they're a bit of a side steps and some reorganization of the characters. And the direwolves have retreated like the cowardly dogs that they are and spun around for a dastardly flank charge next turn. So uh, do you want to roll for Winds of Magic? It's a six and I have one attempt at channeling. Nope. And no, so uh, let's get some dice and come out with spells. Okay, we're at Vampire Count's uh, magic phase. What are we starting with? Uh, Ken Lightning is going to attempt to cast Curse of Years on the big unit of the Chaos Warriors. 16 is cast. Uh, it's nasty, but we have a lot of the spells going on. Uh, we'll let that one go. Let's get some dice and look at how many wounds come through. Back from Curse of Years, we lost five Chaos Warriors to that. The characters managed to escape unscathed. What's next? Uh, I think. Gaze of Nagash from the same unit. Four, eight, it's not cast. It's a few. And finally, the Death Remancer. Decisions, decisions. Man food will cast his invocation of uh, uh, That's all your dice in it, so I might as well go dispel in that. And yeah, we're just good. Moved into the shooting phase, we've got some terror geists screaming at us. Starting off this side, screaming at the Gore Beast chariot. Ooh, so four leadership. That remaining wound, isn't it? That's two and ten. Yeah. So we've got three wounds left on this one. And over to the side. Ooh, the Chaos Knights. Again, I'm leadership eight. Five, eleven. So I'm losing three. Ooh. Thankfully, with Mark of Horn. Oops. Yeah, I'm into psychology, so panic doesn't matter. That. That hurt. Cool. Uh, no shooting in a Vampire Counts army. And we don't have any combat this turn, so let's go straight on to Warriors of Chaos, turn two. Warriors of Chaos movement phase, starting off with the charges, we've got quite a few going on. So we've got the Chaos Warhounds, Chaos Knights, Juggernauts, all going into the Terrorgeist. Need to get rid of it or we're going to be nasty flank charge. And over on this side we've got the Gore Beast going into the direwolves. So we'll start with the only one that really we might fail, which is gonna be Juggernauts, who need an eight. Yes, we've made it in. Uh, there's a possibility that these guys could fail, so we'll just check for them. They've made it in as well. And then over on this side, uh, it's an eight for him to get in. Six, nine, he's made it too. Right, we'll get these moved, do the remaining moves, and come back in the magic phase. Movement phase complete, we've moved in all our charges. Only other move that we really had was to shuffle forward the warriors and the direwolves have swept around a bit further behind the, sorry direwolves, Chaos Warhounds have swept around a bit further behind the trees as well. So we'll go into the magic phase. Uh, it's a seven, attempt to channel with ours. Nope. No. Warriors magic phase, starting with Rancid Visitations. 
from the Big Bob Warriors onto the scare unit. Of course, it's cast on a 10. Oh dear, that is most certainly cast. Um, let's roll some dice and see how many are injured. So we're starting off with D6 strength 5 hits. It's three. Do you happen to see your ghouls? Four. Four. We're on threes. Oh, only one. And then it's a toughness test, or we keep going. Passed. Which they've passed. And now let's find out what happened to the Sorcerer Lord. Six. So in that calamitous detonation, five more warriors were killed, and the Sorcerer managed to do a wound for himself. We lost our remaining dice from the power pool, and now we've got nothing left to dispel Curse of Years. This time we're on fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more dead. Ouch. Following losing those seven, we also lost the champion and BSB and Sorcerer have both taken another wound. And that means it's a panic test. Eight re-rollable. Oh dear. Come on, BSB. Whew, we're hanging in there. Not sure if that's a good thing, but there we go. And let's move over to the... Oh yeah, shooting phase. We can shoot him this time. Let's have a look what options he's got. Hellcarlin is firing up at the Crypt Horrors. Yes, got it right. Let's see uh, where we go. Two inches back that way. Yeah, we'll hit all six. Perfect. So... One dice for the high strength in the front one. One, two, three, four. I've got five at strength five. Can I put one of those red ones, mate? Uh, that's pretty good. What's the toughness on these guys? Five. Hmm, not as good as we thought. Well, that's three that have gone through. Desperately looking for some kind of save. Let's have a look, see if these are flaming, because that's going to have an impact. Flaming, so we do get the five up regens. Ah, oh, look at that. So we've done one wound. Oh dear. Ain't looking too good for Warriors at the minute, but uh, we've got a few charges off, so we might kill something again now. Let's come back in fight phase. As expected, Gorby's Chariot ploughed straight through the die walls with his impact hits alone, and has moved on up. Going over to the big one, we are starting with the uh, Assaulted Hero. He's got six attacks in total, thanks to Frenzy and the plus one attack from his magical weapon. Uh, we're only strength five, toughness six, fives to wound, not a thing, oh dear. Right, we'll get some more dice and come back with the knights. Moving on to the knights, we've only got one from the juggernauts and then two there, they're all the same stats, we're just doing more at the same time. So we're on threes to hit, fives again to wound though. Oh, we've done one this time. Uh, six plus region. No, we've done one wound. And then we're gonna do some juggernauts next. Got a bit ahead of myself then. Uh, it wasn't the Juggernauts yet. He is initiative three. However, the Chaos Warhounds have managed to attack and do one more wound, but they are about to be chomped up by a Terror Geist. We hit strength five is two skill. Two. 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 Yeah, that would have been worse. Now it's the time of the Juggernauts to hopefully munch this. Two of them which can attack, hitting on threes. Thanks to Meadow's Charge, puts us up to strength six, winning on fours. Four, three. Back to his regens. Oh, I saved Two. another one. Two. Uh, combat res then. Oh, wait, Thunderstomp from the Terrorgeist on your hands. Oh, yeah. They're going to get squished yet. Yeah. Oh, dear, it's the big six. Ah, uh, that's just. So, combat res, uh, you've got five. And I've got four for wounds. Yep. Five for charging, six for standard. I win by one. Down to one, Down to wound, to one wound left. That was uh, far less brilliant than I'd hoped for. With that, it is the end of the turn, so it's Vampire Count's turn two coming up next. Movement phase for the Vampire Counts is complete. We only had one charge, which couldn't be failed, so we don't need to roll any dice for that. Cryptoras are into the side of the Juggernauts of Corn. The x Wraiths have used their free reform and their ethereal ability to come through the Wizard Tower, lining themselves up to charge through the middle of the Hell Cannon next turn. The Terror Guys just swung around this way to scream at us. Other things, I think we've possibly shuffled a little bit again there. 
uh, but essentially we're stood in the same place. I'm going to move on to Magic Phase coming up next. Magic Phase, rolling for the Winds of Magic. How strong do they blow? Ooh, a five and a one. Take that. Warrior's going to have a go at channeling. No. Empress channel. No. Uh, what are we going with this time then? Need a little think, or we go straight into it? Uh, we'll go straight into it with a Curse of Nagash on the Warriors. Okay. <coughs> 11, 12, 16 to cast. 16. Remind me what this one does. 2d6 strength 4 hits. 2d6 strength 4. We're, uh, we're going to have to take that because I've got to get rid of Curse of Years, so we'll take that. 10. 10. Mm. Reading these things already. Ten plus four. Strength four, toughness four. Oh, it could have been worse. Just, Just three. three. And then I uh, don't have shields on this unit, so it's a minus one, five ups. Oh, I only lose one. We'll take that. Okay, know what you do next. Uh... Manfred will cast Curse of Years on the same unit. Okay, and we can do this because he is a Lawmaster, even though it's already in play. Ooh. 14 to cast. 14. We need a 12 to dispel it. Uh, we're going to use a Dispel Scroll on that. Learned from the previous time. Is that it? That's it. On the magic phase? Cool, so we're going to throw all of our dice now at getting rid of this Curse of Years. Yes, it's gone, thankfully, although it has definitely done the damage on this unit. Um, do you want to go straight onto your screams? I think it's pretty yeah. obvious what's going to happen here. We'll go with the injured Terror Geist first. It's going to scream at your two remaining knights. Yep. Yeah. Oh and gosh, 11, 12. 12. I'm leashed at 8, so that's 4. They are splatted. Yeah, the other uh, is going to the He's still on four wounds. Fifteen. Uh, we're going to leash it eight, so that's another seven that are killed from this unit. Ouch! We'll get rid of them, and then we'll come back with combat phase. Leash it oh yeah, we're going to be leash it, aren't we? At least we can re-roll this. Eight? Yeah, we're fine. Back in the combat phase, as expected, the Exalted Hero finally finished off the Terror Geist without any issues. Moving next, we've got the Skull Crusher on the end. Who's having a go? Uh, sorry, he's not a skull crusher, he's a juggernaut, but anyway, we've got two hits there. And one wound. One wound. You took a six. Oh, yeah. I've got plus one of my source with weapons, so two wounds. Five plus what you don't need. One. And uh, do my uh, my juggernaut, which is gonna have a, a swipe back at you now. So he gets Three attacks. That's two. We've lost our plus one, so we're only strength five, but that's another one. Hey! We finally killed one of them. And they're all going to start chomping back. I'll let you grab some dice. And it's time for Crypt Horrors to swing back. That many hits equals this many wounds. Plus we had three poison from last time, mind if I use your dice? Thankfully we've got quite a lot of armour, so we are on two ups. Uh, though one of them does lose a wound, not too shabby. So it's only done one. Uh, two for the charge, three, for, three the for the flank. I got three for wounds, one for the standard, so somehow I win that by one. One more takes a wound. Uh, that's the end of phase, so it's going to be... Warriors of Chaos, turn three. Warriors, turn three. We've only got one charge, which is this remaining gaggle of warriors trying to make it in there. We have the uh, Banner of Swiftness, Standard Swiftness, but uh, we're going to need an eight here. Seven. Oh dear. These guys have used their uh, free reform from winning the combat to face in. So we'll shuffle these forward. Got a couple of units up this end, and uh, I'm sure, while we're here, we'll do the leadership test still. For the Hell Cannon, we've passed. 
thankfully. Right, we'll get these moves done and come back in magic phase. Winds of magic for Warrior's turn. Dracken, we've got five. We're gonna try our channel. Yes, we've channeled successfully. No channels. Outside. So we're gonna start with Miasma of Pestilence. Um, we're gonna cast it on ourselves. And I'm going to use two dice on that. 10, 14, that's cast. This is uh, minus one weapon skill initiative in base contact with me. And a minus another one to hit because of Mark and Nurgle. So. Uh, it's about the there. only chance we've got of, of clinging on. Yep, that's cast. So now we need the six from our lore attribute, please, to get a wound back. No, that would have been asking a bit too much. Uh, we're going to go for the big kahunas then. Plague Wind, the magical vortex. It's cast on a 15. So 10. Yeah, we have managed to get that off. Trembler's gonna try and dispel. Has he spoiled our fun? 17. Oh, uh, what am I on? Sorry, I'm on 10, 13, 17 as well. So dispelled. This ghoul here is about to get splattered by a hell cannon. Oh dear. He's not. We've just run forward 10 inches, which actually means that we're hopefully not gonna get run through by these hex race now so yeah small mercy we'll take anything we can get at the moment that's the end of the shooting it's back into combat starting with six attacks from our mm -hmm. and strength five your toughness five so that's four wounds oh look at all these regions and next we're going to be on to the knights, so we're going to get another three, six, get some more dice. And we're still strength five, that's another three, mm -hmm. another one wound. Uh, we'll let you do some attack backs and then we'll come back with my juggernauts. Fours and fours. Uh, we've got the poison there, that's three straight through. Four to, uh, another one, chipping away, another wound gone down. Get my attack back now with the Juggernauts. Juggernauts attacking back. Oh, dear me. Would it be too much for hatred and frenzy? Probably. Fours to wound, uh, three more wounds. Pesky regens, makes another two. It's another one wound gone back. Uh, combat res, uh, I think you've only got one that time for the wounds. I've done a little bit better. Five. Five. Slowly, slowly getting through them, but this is definitely too little too late from the warriors. That's the end of our turn. It's gonna be Vampire Count's turn three next. Movement phase complete. Zombies have turned around to face the impending charge from the Gore Beast Chariot. Ghouls have all stayed still. Nothing's changed over this way. Hex race have spun around, lining themselves up to run through next time. And the Terror Geist is going to continue his rampage, screaming at my warriors. Into the magic phase. Winds of magic. Ooh, gives us a seven. Try my one remaining channel. Nope. And one channel there. Cool. So, back in the magic phase, it's Curse of Views on the uh, Juggernaut unit. Ooh. 12, it's just cast. Just. The risk of three dice to spell. Yes. Starting so with Invocation of Mehek, mid level. Okay. Uh, 18. 18, it's going to bring back a lot of models. How many dice does that leave you with? Is that Four. one? Four dice left. And we've got potential for another Curse of Years. I think we're going to have to let that one go. Let's uh, get some models back. Control for the zombies. Yeah. Ugh, nine more zombies. Uh, it wasn't nine, it would have been 13. But thankfully the ghouls take up so much space we couldn't actually fit that many in. But uh, significantly, two Cryptoras back on full health with his lore attribute as well. Um, what are you doing next? Another curse of years, this time from Manfred on the stock. Oh, leave them alone. 
Mm-hmm. It's cast. Cast. Roll big to dispel. That is definitely off. Uh oh. Right, we'll get some dice, and I suppose we've only got three. There's no champion in that group, so use the purple one for the result with hero. Oh, two more. Unreal. Into the shooting phase, it's the Terror Guy screaming once again. Oh dear, that's 16. I'm leadership eight. That's another six which die. I think that is. Eight that die? Uh, sorry, eight that die. Onto the combat phase. The only combat that we've got is still this one over here. Start with the exalted hero. Threes, followed by fours. Uh, three. Ooh, no regems at that time. And um, we'll go on to the warriors riding them. Fours, that's more like it. Three again. So we're back to where we were at the start of the turn. Um, do you want to do yours? And then we'll grab some dice and I can do the uh, juggernauts themselves. Probably poison. Oh, another one for poison there. That's, but it, that's just the only one. Two up save. He's okay. So I've got nine now for my juggernauts. Oops, bear me while I juggle some dice. Okay. Ooh, tiny little hands. Oh dear, that is not as impressive. Is that one of them? Yeah. Uh, three though. Well, we could kill one. No. Oh dear. But they crumble, so we've made it eventually. Warriors turn four charges this slot into the big pack of ghouls, and the gore beast is going into the zombies. Starting on this side, uh, we have just managed to make it in for the seven. This guy, we need a six over here. Yes, make it in again. Crack it. We'll get those moved. Do the remaining moves. Oh, we'll do the leadership test as well while we're uh, we're rolling actually for the hell cannon. Oh dear me. Movement phase is complete. Warhounds have just moved up. Sorcerer has uh, left the battle standard bearer. Let's be honest, they're both going to get either screamed or munched. So we're going to go straight to the magic phase. It's a good one, but nine this time. And we'll try our one channel. Yeah, one. So we're up to ten power dice. Starting off the magic phase then, we are going to start by trying to dispel Curse of Years. Ooh, six, seven, eleven. With that, magic phase ends. We can't cast anymore. Um, Curse of Years is still in effect. Oh dear, two more. Goodbye. Oh, it won't be him, it'll be Chap in the middle. But yes, he's dead. Let's move on to combat phase and hopefully I can actually choose something. So we're going to start with the fun one over around on this side. Gore Beast Chariot. D6 plus one impact hits. After the pitiful impact hits, things didn't get much better. I only managed to kill four zombies, uh, but they didn't do anything back in return. So we won by one for an extra one to crumble. The juicy one. Now my eye of the gods means I have to issue a challenge. So who is brave enough to step forward and answer? Nobody. Nobody. Okay, right, grab some dice and kill some ghouls. Combat is complete. We killed quite a few, one by a lot, and the rest crumbled. And importantly, this gap at the front here, Kemler, was squished. He's the general, so uh, leadership tests. One dice. Mm hmm. That unit. Beginner ghouls. Seven. One, two, uh, two dice. No, no. Can't use my uh-huh. guys. Nothing. No. Spirit host. Spirit host all the way over here. Having a big impact Dead. on the game. Oh, good. And hex Check their leadership. One dice. Cool. Uh, that is the end of the warrior's turn. So it's going to be back for vampire counts next. Hex race that charging into the sorcerer lord. We're gonna need a five. Oh yes, they've got it. Don't fancy his chances. I uh, don't think we've got any of them. Oh, but I have a tower guys. He might be doing some moving, so we'll get these bits sorted and we'll come back for magic phase. Magic phase is complete. Wasn't overly exciting. We've got rerolled uh, failed hits on the hex race. 
Invocation to bring back a load of zombies and a few more ghouls. Raise dead to get a zombie unit here. And importantly, Curse of Years has gone. Although, whether that is uh, going to make much of a difference, they're about to be screamed at by the Terrorgeist. Uh, two Manchi first. Two Manchi. She got a smaller one. Cool. Doesn't really. Brilliant. Terrorgeist. Seven, 13. Uh, leadership eight. Five wounds. Five wounds on these guys. Left on one measly wound. How many ghouls can he kill before he goes? Threes. Strike five. We're on threes again. Ooh, it's only three. They're going to get a go at clawing back at him now. Roll on that. I've uh, got one poison. Just the one. Yeah, we make it. Cool. Uh, we have our juggernaut attacking now. Uh, he's not bothered. Oh, he has at least done a wound. Uh, right, so I got combat res on this one. Uh, stomp? Uh, oh, yeah, we'll do a stomp first. Why not? Rude not to. Yeah. Strength five. Against two, I think. Yes. I think as fast as we're killing them, mate. And they get brought back. Combat resolve over here. Kill five. Did nothing back. Another one crumbles. Come over to this one. Sorcerer Lord swings first, valiantly swings his sword around, and cuts through nothing because he's only got mundane attacks, meaning the three hex race are going to have a go at chopping him back. All hit. Strength five, toughness four. Four, yeah. It's not an ogre. Yep. Threes. Ooh. However, uh, we lose because of receiving the charge. It's also three steed attacks. Oh, yeah. No, we didn't ever take a fear test. I would have passed it. No. Phew. So uh, I've lost by one. Oh dear. Uh, we can re-roll because of the BSB. Stood just here. Oh, it's an eight. We're off. Assuming that you are going to be running after him. I am. Oh, he's made a good go a bit at 12 though. And five. He's not getting caught, but the BSB will be whacked. With that, that brings us to the end of the turn. It's going to be Warriors turn four. Five coming up next. Movement phase is complete. Hell Cannon has charged in. He's not really anything shooting, so might as well have a go mention in combat. Realize we made a mistake with um, his Amelia when he failed his, his leadership test. Apologies with that. Direwolves have made it in against the zombies, which just leaves Chappie to rally. Ooh, thankfully he does. So we'll go strapped up with his magic. It's a five canny channel. Nope. Let's get some spells. Magic phase. Very uneventful. We tried Miasma of Pestilence on Warlord, which was Dispel Scrolled, and then we've tried Rancid Visitations on the Terror Guys, the only target we had. Did manage to get it off. Got six hits, but uh, no wounds. And he passed his toughness test. Leading us over to combat. We'll uh, carry on with the slightly more brutal one at the top. We have still got six attacks, as he's still to be beaten in combat. Uh, for four hits, strength five, that is four more chopped down. It's actually two. It's actually two? Two twos and I'm Oh, yes. Oh, my mistake. Two, you get a kill. Let's look at how many chop backs he's going to get. One more poison in there. He's up until seven, isn't he? He is. The monster. Uh, Three toughness four, though. Yes. Four saves. Ah, oh, there it is. 
it was on his last wound anyway. He's chomped down into dust. Killed a load more zombies. Not enough. They're still alive. Uh, about standard bearer did manage to hack down three of the hex race with his magic sword, but he was in turn cut down and they've run on chasing after the sorcerer once again. Which brings us to the hell cannon. So, threes to hit. Oh, dear me. And then twos. Oh, no. One zombie. One zombie. Can they do the ultimate insult and actually cause any wounds back? Yeah, I have to go four toughness six. I'm hoping that I've got some fives and sixes. Three hits. One save. Oh, he's done a wound. Uh, I don't actually know what arm save he has, to be honest. Well, uh, we'll double check and come back. He has a four plus, five plus. So, passed. He's fine. Uh, Thunder Stomp. Five. There we go. Oh, still only managed to kill three. So we've killed four. Five for the charging. Uh, five more crumble, I guess, isn't it? Two left. I mean, I don't really think there's much hope for the uh, warriors clinging on now. We will probably fly through Vampire Counts turn five, and we'll see what state of play is at the end of that. So it's a turn five summary for the Vampire Counts. Sorcerer Lord was run down as he tried to flee. Uh, Terror Guy screamed on the Gore Beast Chariot to kill that. And then the Dire Wolves lost the ensuing combat and have fled. Uh, zombies over this side were killed, meaning that all we have left is a Hell Cannon and two... Not Dire Wolves, I keep calling them that, but you all know what I mean. Chaos Warhounds there. So we'll start off with the leadership test for the Hell Cannon, which has passed because we've only got one chance of clawing anything back. Leadership test for these guys to rally. No. They're going to keep running on. Got a 10 inches. I don't think we're going to see them again. That's it. Which means the only thing we've got now is to try and kill Manfred with a well-placed shot from the Hell Cannon. Hope everything crumbles and then crumbles again. So we're putting it straight on his head. And we're not going to hit him, but we'll work out how many we're hitting and get some dice. We killed seven, but significantly we didn't manage to drop it on Manfred's head and obliterate him. So things are pretty bleak. I mean, I think the game's been over for probably a couple of turns now. We're going to see if uh, Jay can kill the Hell Cannon anyway, give him that opportunity. So we've not got any charges, but we're going to have some moving ready for magical sniping and horrible screaming. Oh, we're not even leaving the poor puppies alone. Anything for the movement phase? Mm, as well. I'm just getting a little bit, a little bit lax now, but this is just sport for the vampire counts now if they can kill the big scary monster. So going to the magic, when's the magic is only a four. That's what we needed. Channel. Oh, I guess up to five with a channel. What are you going for first? Do you have time for a think? Uh, boosted caress onto the hell cannon. And it's cast. It's cast. This is their 2d6 strength 4 hits, isn't no, it? 2d6 minus his strength. Yeah. Mm. Four plus alarm safe. Well, if it isn't this, it's something else. Oh, it's Never mind. So, 2d6 minus our strength. We are strength 5. 1. Into our 4 plus? No. no. What are we doing next? Um, what do I think? Some three days up in the gash. Straight into the uh, shooty screamy phase. Need a double six to kill you. Yeah, well, strange things have happened. 
And the Thermic Glass will try and kill your dogs. Uh, it probably a foregone conclusion. 16. 16 minus 5. They've only taken the 11 wounds. They're gone. Um, and that brings us to the end of the game. So, uh, good game. Let's have a chat. So that's the end of the battle. All that remains on the battlefield is uh, this smack of units. It's been a pretty bloody affair both sides. Pretty obvious to say that vampire counts have won that one quite comfortably. Uh, a few little mistakes made, really, in terms of generalship and in terms of some rules. Apologies for the rules. Definitely shouldn't have let that... Um, Oh, curse of years go off and should have tried to dispel that earlier on rather than trying to rely on the end and having the, the miscast. But hey, that's learning for you. Jay's likewise said with his crypt horrors there were things he could have done then to try and look after them a little bit better. But that's the way it goes. Lots to think about, especially when we're filming. So thanks very much for watching. Let us know what you think of this first battle report. If there's anything which you think we need to do differently, post some comments, let us know. Do you want to see more roles, less roles? Uh, give us your thoughts. Thanks very much. Thank you for back soon.